Welcome to Win Online, your channel for educational videos. Um, best ways to prevent summer learning slide. And what is summer learning st uh, slide? Oh, it is a pain in the neck for all the teachers and the biggest headache of parents. So let's see what is summer learning slide and how to prevent it. Now I'm uploading this video for parents, but the teachers can also use it by sharing all these points in their PTM, which is before the summer break. You can also write down these points and make a newsletter before the summer break and send it home, telling the parents how to avoid the summer learning slide. So what is the summer learning slide? Summer learning slide refers to the summer learning loss that many students experience as a result of spending weeks or months at a time without any educational support. Some students may return to school in September only to or in August only to find that they have fallen behind in their studies and we hear this complaint a lot from the teachers that they have forgotten everything especially with younger children when they come back after the summer break um, doesn't matter how good homework have you given to them uh, they tend to forget a lot of things and the teachers have to spend uh, the first two weeks sometimes in uh, revising everything and in refreshing their memories and in getting the students in tune with the study routine and with the education that they have received before the summer break. So how to avoid this or how to reduce it? But let's first see uh, how is it different for younger students and for the older students. So what are the impacts of summer learning loss? For younger learners, one of the biggest concern is loss of reading ability over the, summer, over the summer. Some studies have suggested that up to 20% of reading gains can be lost over the summer for students in grade 3 through grade 5. I would say right from preschool right up to grade 5 because um, there is not a lot of emphasis on reading. We also do not have a reading culture at home. In some homes there are there is a reading culture and even mom and dad like to read but overall it's not that strong. So what happens is that the students lose the ability to read. Mathematics can also take a hit uh, with students losing up to 27% of math gains for the same age range. So because there are not a lot of opportunities of practicing math, uh, that's why reading and mathematics suffer the most. Urdu English both readings. So in older learners, especially at the high school level, may not experience summer slide as drastically as younger children do. However, they can still lose valuable skills in the summer months. Research has been mixed on just how severe summer slide is for older students with some suggesting that some school subjects suffer more than the others. For example, all those subjects in which a lot of practice or a lot of drill is required, of course the students do not do that drill at home, so those subjects will suffer. So what are the solutions? How can we minimize the damage? How can we reduce the effect of summer slide? Number one is uh, read. For older children, set reading targets. And here is a link of our videos. You can go to our challenge, uh, channel and watch this video. This video is about what, what kind of books should you buy for your students for reading for pleasure. So read to your child. This builds listening skills, imagination and increases vocabulary for younger children. This is for parents. Read to your children every night. Set a time and read to your children. Number two, have your child read at least 20 minutes per day. Make it a habit and set a time and set a peaceful, quiet corner. And it will be very good if you could also read at that time. So students who read 20 minutes a day 
score in the 90th percentile like their percentage is in the 90th and students who read 5 minutes a day score only in the 50th percentile so 20 minutes reading is extremely important you have to provide a stimulating environment and a quiet corner and also the reading material so the the link of the video that i shared in my previous slide go to that link you will see how to choose different books uh, for your children at home visit the library i know that there are not a lot of uh, libraries available for you to go with your children but you can still try and find it out and go to the library sit there share uh, this environment is very very peaceful it's quiet the children also learn a lot of skills how to find a book in the library we have also uploaded a video about that also so you can find that in bonus videos by the name of library skills so there are different numbers written on the books what do those numbers represent how can you find a book in the library how can you put the book back in the library how can you borrow the books from the library so that is also a wonderful wonderful thing to do podcasts are again another lovely way these days there are a lot of podcasts that are available there are audio books available and free audio books on librivox uh, go to librivox and you will find free audio books there so instead of listening to the radio listen to audio books during during long drives or also like for example you are cooking and the children are sitting there instead of watching tv just play the podcast just play the audio books you can search different links there are different audio books available podcasts are also equally important then uh, engage in meaningful conversation with your child meaningful conversation does not mean how are you how was your day how are you feeling or it does not mean giving instructions don't do this do that do this do that or it does not mean comparison like in our days we used to do this and now you do that it means a uh, stimulating conversations uh for example choose a topic and talk about that topic choose a topic that is of interest to your child or something that is happening something that is current something that is relevant and uh, then you uh, this will boost the language skills quick conversation tips are ask questions be positive give your full attention be encouraging creative writing is another beautiful beautiful way of keeping students in touch with the languages that, that they are learning at school uh, enhancing their vocabulary sentence structure and also like making them think for themselves and creating stories so find reasons for your child to practice writing skills write a book a blog a zine a poem a zine is like a small magazine so encourage them to do that and uh, learn a new word each week and make it important write it on a piece of paper and stick it on the refrigerator make use of basic word lists uh, again we have uploaded videos about basic word lists basic word lists are those words which the students of a certain age must know and if they do know then half of their uh, half of the job is done they can read they can write they can spell uh basic word lists are for every age for uh 5 to 6 years old 6 to 7 7 to 8 you can also watch that video and see the basic word list so make use of that learning means to be able to use in different contexts so learning a new word does not mean that you have provided a translation of the word no it means that the child should be able to use that new word in different contexts so put that word on the refrigerator you also use it and let the child use it so cook with your child have your child follow a recipe this enhances both reading and math skills so you can role play you can pretend uh, your child can pretend that he or she is a chef in the in the cooking show and do that record the process repeat with half or double quantities check and count calories so a lot of math is involved a lot of science is involved when you record it is funny the children look at the video again and they see how beautifully were they explaining the process how well were their motor skills how were they using how did the dish turn out and it is also a learning milestone 
like the children will remember this it is fun time so all these things like providing them time to read for 20 minutes going to the library doing creative writing having meaningful conversations listening to audiobooks and podcasts while driving modeling reading behavior like you are also reading and they're also reading reading to the younger children reading stories showing them pictures learning a new word every day and cooking while following the recipes reading the recipes and recording all this that process will keep your students in touch though they do not seem so strictly educational uh, activities but their value uh, is immense and they add a lot of new things to the learning of the students they learn new vocabulary they learn mathematical concepts and also you are spending quality time with your children so to be in your children's memories tomorrow you have to be in their lives today and summer break is a great time for you to make this opportunity of being in the lives of your children that's all play educational games with family uh, we have also videos about the educational games so you can play those games with the families that is also a wonderful wonderful way so thank you so much for your attention uh, i'm saying again i'm uploading this in the parents corner but equally equally beneficial for the teachers and principals you can take these points and make a newsletter and send it home before the summer break thank you so much please subscribe to our channel like share and comment